cover me. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give God a mighty hand clap. I am, I am happy of being here. I feel I'm humbled to the servant of the Lord. Thank you for serving God. Thank you for putting this wonderful person. Because you built your relationship with God. That's the reason we are here. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Emma Mawanga. By the grace of God, I'm born again. I am from this ministry, World Trumpet Mission. Even me, I am a minister. I've been given for all the ministers that are here. To serve God is a blessing. To serve God is joy. When we move while we are serving our Lord, what we say, the life we have is not our own. It is his. There is nothing why we should be in this world when we are alive except to serve God. After we have served him, then he can take his servant to rest in peace. What, what makes us stay here in this world? There is what brought us here what brought us here after we have fulfilled then he takes us. Gamba neighbor, tuliwana. Tell your neighbor we are here because we have been given a blessing to serve God. Now, the next 10 years, if in the past 10 you have not been using all your strength, now may you increase strength. Now, ask him, how long do you want to live? Ask your friend, how long do you want to live? Agambi Emeka. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. The Bible says a thousand years before God is one day. Now, about 150 years, which you want to be here in this world, or 120. How many minutes do you think you're in now? Even the one who stayed here for 969 years, he did not make it one day before God. Now, 120 years, it means you're just using two, two hours and 40 minutes. Now, you, you want to stay <laughs> long. Even the first years, you have misused and, and only spent them. Now, the question is, you no longer have hours. How many minutes do you still have? Gamba, ah, yes. Say, oh Lord, Mpa, man. may you give me strength that I may do your will. 
It is you helps me to live because of your grace. May you cover me so that I may be victorious. I'm going to speak about I'm going to speak about being covered. When the Lord covers you, you can stay 10 years in ministry, even more 10 years added, more 10 years added because you're covered. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us also welcome all of those who are on YouTube and across the nations, all of those who are in the different continents. Those in Asia, those who are in South America, those who are in North America, Australia, even in Australia, those who are in Europe, even in Africa. All of you, you're going to receive the same blessing. All those who are here. May God bless you. Even you wish them the blessing. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Amen. I want six people to come and stand here. Six quickly. Uh -huh. Get me the, that, uh, like uh, these ones that we cover ourselves with. Amen. Not the mantle, but those other ones. The less. Yes. We are going to hold it for people. Let us lift it above in the air. Bishop uh -huh. uh -huh. is in the presence of the Lord. Okay, mm -hmm. I want one. one Let us clap for him. Let us first report him. He did as well. He did as well. Amen. I don't usually vouch, but yesterday. Amen. Amen. So alone, my child, my mother, my mother, my sister, my brother, my cousin, 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 that the devil moves to and fro and he's busy roaring. He's looking for who he may devour. But he cannot come under the covering because there is the presence of the Lord. Because there is fire. Now he keeps on moving where there is no fire. He's waiting for the one, one to come out of the presence so that he may capture him. Now as long as he's in the presence, when he's covered, the first year he will serve, even the second year, even the third year, even the tenth year, because he's in the presence, because he's covered. But the devil gets a chance when he comes out of the presence. Now, the devil is moving about. He's looking for what he may devour. He's looking for one who come out of the presence. He's looking for one who has come out of the presence of the Lord. He's looking for one who's murmuring. What the devil does he, he uses words that entice. Uh -huh. The moment the bishop comes out of the presence of the Lord and he sees things are hard and he sees things are difficult and he starts to murmur. Uh, who was in this presence? Now he comes out. Then the devil comes close. And he says, even why, see, why, are you, why are you serving God? Come and we do this. Change the, the preaching. Let's do something uh -uh. else. Mm -mm. Now you begin to see kungana. The one who used to gather He is no longer gathering every, The one who used to come every Sunday He is now weak We now begin to look for the child of God We no longer see He comes once in a while When he's here He starts becoming sick He starts to fail to pray Because where he used to find grace He has left that position Where 
he was covered, yeah, he left the prayer. Now the devil, he starts to pull him, taking him where he does not like. Now the Lord tells Peter that may you feed my lambs. And he says, serve me. The one Peter they are telling to serve, when Jesus came, because he found him, he had gone back to fishing. Uh, because they also promised him money of the world and he has not yet received it. He, and he sees the one who talk about him say he used to fish and you'd get some money. Now look at your trousers. It, it's full of holes. Why don't you come back yes, into so the fishing When Jesus returns, Peter has already gone back to yes, fishing. So now Jesus told me, when you are still a young man, you used to go wherever you wanted. Now when you grow old, another one will take you. In a place you don't like. Say so everything has its own time. And even God works in cycles. The same way the devil works in cycles. When he's in the presence, when Satan comes, the, the, he has an authority. He can send fire to the devil. Every time he sends fire, then the devil is pushed back. Because he's in the presence where there is authority. He's in the place where there is authority. Whatever he says, it comes to pass. Whatever he says, it comes to pass. But the moment he leaves the fire, even if he calls for fire, that's the reason why many churches we call fire in many churches. Instead, the demons keep on multiplying. Even the church of the other side calls fire. fire. On the mountain, they call fire. They call fire. On the mountain, they call fire. But yet, the demons are still there. Fire is still there. Brothers and sisters, doesn't Kubanga mchifo, the reason we are in the place, we moved out of the place. Fire, we speak fire where there is no authority, without authority. Amen. Tell your neighbor, don't leave the presence. When you depart from the presence, you'll be arrested. Let us clap for them. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There is a lady, there is a girl who was giving a testimony here. That testimony has touched me. The last one here. Yes, uh, when they were about to crucify Jesus, the ladies of Jerusalem, they had already crucified him on the cross. The ladies came crying. And they were crying, our Lord, our Lord. Yes, but Jesus told them, do not cry for me. Do cry for your own selves, even your children. Do not cry for me. Now the tears you're crying for, take away those tears. If it is the journey, I have finished. If it is fighting, I have finished. Now the tears you're crying for me, Take them away from me. Cry for your own selves. Even for your children. Now the Bible says so many things. Talking about tears. Now for me I said this is the main speaker. And he's the main teacher. He did not counsel crying. You'll find people who tell you. Leave those who are crying crying. Tell your neighbor, if you have a reason why you're crying, why don't you want to cry? Especially if you're crying to God. If the grace to the blessing of crying has come to you, may you utilize it. Praise God. Jesus says, don't cry for me. Cry for your own son, even your children. I, I, I tell stories. When a child is given birth to, as long as they still live, is, is another person. Even when they grow, they change into another person. There is a lady who gave birth to two children. And then the husband deserted. When the husband deserted, was busy selling things so that they may also go to school the children. Era and he, he, he paid for their tuition. Now there is a young one who keeps following the other one. 
One was well educated up until Makere. The moment they got to the university in Makere, he fell into the hands of the homosexuals. Now, after I had finished school, uh, on the party, he, he invited many guests. Even the younger, the younger one, he seated among those people. He started to hear rumors that, that your elder brother is a homosexual. There are things, brothers and sisters, we hear. And you cannot even talk about them. The one who came to where he was, the one who came to where he was, the partner, the one he used to do, that, that homosexual. Thing. You see the one who has talked in his birthday? That is the partner. And both of them are men. Then the mother heard about it. The mother cried. Remember, the mother has grown in church. The children, he has raised them from church. Now he started to counsel the children. He says, you, my child. What I've heard, is it true? When the mother was talking to the son, he thought, she thought the way she used to do when she was sick. Even now, it is the same way she will handle the mother. Now the young man responded to the mother. That, mommy, what you have heard, it is true. That is what I am. The mother cried. Says, you, we are born again. There is God. God. The child was just mama nga mama. listening to the mother as the, mother, the parents. But the one who is peaceful but yet very hardened. Nagamba, mama. But he said, mother, there is God. E that is your thinking. E de what you have said that God is there. E that is your thought. Mwana, we, ne then the mother said there is a hell, there is also heaven. Mama, mommy. I know that there is hell, e but that is your thought. Then the mother got a pastor o, to speak to him. Also the pastor counseled that very same time. But for him he had gone so deep with the issue of homosexuality. The pastor said, me the one who is preaching to you, I'm a pastor. But the, the, one, the young man would say one thing. Among everything they've said, he would summarize it with one word. You a pastor? That is your thinking. Tell your neighbor you have dressed like this. <laughs> Even you, that's your thought. That is not how you, you, that's how you, that's not how you spend your life. Say everyone here is in their own thought. Do you want to lie to me? That's how you slept. Say you're in your thinking. So that's why Jesus said. Do not try. Try for your own children. Even your children. If we are going to be covered like parents, let us be covered even with our children. The lady was giving you a testimony. Even her, she found those habits there. There is a place where a home would never come and cover. But if you want to be covered, even your next generation, you need to do the work of the Lord. Try for yourself and your children. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Gamba neighbor, Tell your neighbor, unji. are you okay? Do you have the peace of Jesus? The, but how are you feeling? Ask them, are you okay? Do, <laughs> do not. Tell them I love you. But today, I am amazed. I am right. Look at yourself as the bride, not Kale the bride. Let me say it this way. Look at yourself as the bride in this place. The rest are made. The moment you realize the rest are made, you give me your ears with your heart. The way the bride, 
They put all their eyes on the bride. The maids, they don't look at them so much. Now, avoid the person who disturbs you. Because now we are getting into the word of God. The presence of God, it is not among many people. And God is not for all. Tell your neighbor, God is not for all. May you boast and say, God is mine. May you say, God is mine to your neighbor. That's why we are in church. And someone feels the presence of God. The real presence of God. I don't even understand everything. I don't know what I feel, whether you feel it. They will not feel it. Because it's not for all. God is perfect. The presence of God can come. And the rain of God comes. And it stops here. And the one who's next is on WhatsApp. Is on the phone. Why? Those who are crying, they're falling outside. And then he starts to look at them. And he looks at those who are out of the mouth. He even sees the teeth which are out. Why? Because the presence of God has not reached him. Tell your neighbor. God is not for everyone. He's mine personally. Hallelujah. Boast to your friend and say God is mine personally. Amen. Amen. Now let me get two more people. Amen. Okay. You see these people. The elder first. Be smart. May you clap for him. Aha, now we are awarding him points. How many points do we give him for his smartness? Hey, oh, no. Exactly. The wife is going to award the husband. If he's not smart, then it's coming back to you. You designed him expecting that he would get how many marks? 99%. One you have stayed with it. Let us clap for him. How about the Musumba? How many? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one hundred. I think because he didn't get it. Chikumi, chikumi neno, chikumi. Ata abeno. Chikumi, eh? Amen. Kupira yesu engaleza mani. Let us clap for Jesus. He has got a hundred everywhere. Atenze mumpade meka. How about me? How many marks? Hmm? Chikumi. Eh, nga mpuli deyo mu. Chikumi. Choka. Omusajyo wamani. Alize wano. Kama yiva zile. Amen. You have given me also a hundred. Amen. May you un untie my shoelace. Ah, uh, uh, and please don't cut my, my hundred. Uh, you have given me a hundred. Amen. 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 May you clap for Jesus. Amen. Let us remove the two. Bampade chikumi. We have started to cut it. Even Amen. the other shoe is coming off. You have given me a hundred. You are going to see the one who you have given oh, me uh, uh, the, the one of the camera, please put. Look at the one you have given a hundred. Look at the feet. Hey, do I still have a hundred with that hole in my, in my socks? Amen. Even the uh, do I still have a hundred? Now how, how much how many do I have? Kumi. Only ten. Bible. The Bible says the heart is deceitful. Um, above all things. 
What we see si is not how God sees. We, we see the outward, but God sees the inward. Mm-hmm. There is where I went and picked and said, let us buy for the pastor his socks. Amen. We look on the outward, but God does not look the outward. He sees what is within. Tell your neighbor, what people see in you is that's what God sees in you. Now the next 10 years, let us walk with God so that we may come close to him. What people see, let also God be saying, that is my servant. Tell your neighbor, it is you who knows yourself. We do not know you. You understand yourself. We don't understand you. Even your God. Amen. Amen. Let me put back my shoes for forgiveness. Amen. Tell your neighbor, God sees within. And the God who sees within. That is today. We want that same God to cover us. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. One day. Yeah, Genesis chapter 3. The first verse. God was speaking with Adam. Adam He had spoken to him many things. Adam. And he told him, Adam, I've given you this uh, role. I've given you all these things. But everything that I've not handed into your hands, you never touch them. Praise God. Now time came. Adam now Adam left his position. He left where God told him to be. Now the place where God had positioned him. God is not going to look for you where you're not where he, you. he looks for you in the position where he put you. Now by the time God returned, that Adam had already moved. He is no longer in the position where he was supposed to be. Now, when God came, he started to call Adam. Adam. He called, where are you, Adam? Then God comes. If he has put you here, that's where he will come. And he will report there. The moment you leave that place and stand in another position, when he comes, even though you're next to church, even though you're in church, even though you're carrying the Bible, he still calls, where are you, Adam? Where are you, Adam? In the garden, he's there. Even as we see, he's in the garden. But God is calling, where are you, Adam? You may be there. The same way he called Adam is the way he's calling God, Where are you? Now, many times God has shown me that I'm busy falling on the pulpit. Uh, brothers and sisters, pulpit life is in, very nice. The moment you pass the test of God, and he has called you, even people are waiting for you. That test is unique. People are waiting for you. But also God is waiting for you. You may be in the presence of God. And there are people who are telling you, Pastor, come. People are waiting for you. Now we let's put a difference. People are waiting for you. But also God is waiting for you. God is calling. Adam. Where are you, Adam? Adam is saying, I am here. People are seeing us in church that we are there. We are holding Bibles in church. We are in the garden. We are serving. We are there. On the pulpit, we are there. But God is saying, where are you? Ask your neighbor, are you really in your position? Are you in that position? Thank you for serving. God speaks in, the, in Matthew that many will come in my name that we commanded demons to depart. But I will say I never knew you. Why does he say that? That word. The Lord says 
The reason why he says I don't know you. Before I gave you ministry, when I called you, and you came. When I sin nakuwa mulim. Before I gave you the when job. Itira, when I called you. Ngo you know debwa. You had my time. Gero tambuli lao. You would come immediately. Kati sikulava. Now I'm no longer seeing you. Wekwese mubuweleza. You're th- hiding in ministry. Sikulava. I no longer see you. Wekwese mumulimu. You're hiding in your job. Duli walito nagufuna. Before you had the job. Ngo beda ho. You were available. When kwa galira. Whenever I need you. Ngo jia. You would come immediately. Kati sikulava. But now I no longer see you. Kamba. Olili dawa Adam. Where are you Adam? Adam Tap your friend. Adam, where are you? Before I gave you responsibilities, when I used to want you, you'd come immediately. Whenever I'd call you, you'd come. When we would talk about fasting, you would fast. You used to be there. And I no longer see you. You're hiding in ministry. You know ministry is your God. You're the one who called me. I know I'm the one who called you. But now ministry it is much better to you than me. That work, I'm the one who gave it to you. But now the job is better than me. You've hidden yourself in the job. I'm no longer seeing you. Say, do not cry for me. Cry for yourselves and your children. Amen. Let us go in one story in the Bible. Luke 24. From verse 13. We are talking about men who are coming from Emmaus. They had, spent, they had taken three days when God had been, had been the Lord had been crucified. They went to Jerusalem when they were crucifying Jesus. By the time they are coming back, they were hearing words. We have heard that the women have come from the grave of Jesus. And they are saying that he has resurrected. God bless you. They, the ladies were discussing about themselves. They are talking about who? About Jesus. Did you hear? Jesus of Nazareth. We thought he is the one who is going to be at the Messiah of the world. But now we are hearing other news that says that the ladies have come from his grave and they found him uh, as risen. They have not found him in the grave. The Bible says Yesu Jesus himself came and joined them on their journey. And that, that story is exciting. They are talking and Jesus says, who are you talking about? They asked him, where are you coming from? You don't know about what the things of Jesus? The one they are telling is Jesus himself. But they were covered. They are walking with Jesus. They are talking with Jesus. But they don't know it's Jesus. Do you see how it is hurting? Where, where are you? Yes. The one who does not know the things of Jesus. They are talking about Jesus. And they are asking Jesus. Tell, say, those men who are walking. Go, Jesus came and joined them. When they got home. In the house, even me, I was amazed by Jesus. They got bread so that he may serve them. The, the house you're busy serving is it your own 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 These ones have just invited you to their home no, to spend, spend the night that the, the time is gone. But the one they've brought in as the visitor is the one who has gone past and gone into the kitchen. He has got bread to come and serve them. The Bible says when they broke the bread, their eyes were open. And then they were were scared. Like, hey, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. We have been talking. Their hearts were burning. Even we were full of the Lord. Every time they were busy talking, but my heart was telling me it must be my Jesus. If Talking, just talking, me talking. It, it brings the presence of God and it joins us. Especially when we are talking about Jesus. Jesus. If most of our times we spend talking about Jesus, Jesus, He's going to come and join Himself with us without our knowledge. But for you, every time you're talking about this demon, 
That's the reason why you don't depart from God. Because whatever you say will bring the presence of the thing you say. If we keep, keep, keep talking about the Lord Jesus, he will come and join us. Ask your neighbor, what do you, what do you, you say? Whatever you say, does it bring the presence of Jesus? And he comes and joins himself to you. Praise God. I want to leave you with this word. The word of being covered. To be covered. It is a very serious matter as the children of God. Before you serve Jesus in this, in this generation, we must be covered. Anyone who is covered, even when demons come for them, they cannot locate him. The same with this ministry, we are praying that every year this ministry we are saying that We are praying that this ministry every year renewed until the Lord appears. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us now go into numbers. Chapter 19. Verses 15. Let us read from Numbers 19. Amen. 15. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. On the screen, it's there, the scripture, Numbers 19.15. And every open container without a lid fastened on it will be unclean. Amen. Come on, let so, we are talking about being covered. Bible the Bible says, anything that is in the container, which is not covered, which is not covered, it is not clean. You see, we are here. We are covered. That's the reason the sun is not hitting us. Even those who are in the tent, they are covered. There is a, that's the why the sun is not to them. Even the pastor, that is the lead to the church. The father, he is the covering to the wife. Mama, the mother, he is the covering to the wife. And also the parents are the covering to the children. Now when the mother goes, mama itiwa namuando. The mother is called a widow. Also when the mother leaves, the father is called a widow. When the parents depart, the children are called orphans. Now covering, it's a very serious matter. It is of God. The children we are seeing on the streets, it is because they are not covered. There is nothing that is covering them. Praise God. Let us read that scripture in Genesis 1. 1 1. Bible Yegamba. The Bible says. Yeah, there was thick darkness over the world. It is what had covered the entire world. When the Holy Spirit came and brood over, we are talking about covering. Anything that is not covered, it is not clean. The world was not clean. It was full of darkness. It was out of Order. When the Holy Spirit came, he came. The same way the children go. Go. we need to be covered. Jesus has vowed. He says in Isaiah 54, verse 5, that your maker is your husband. He reached the level of even vowing. That I am the husband to the widows. That is a mark of covering. After he's been baptized, in Matthew 3, verse 16, the Bible says, the spirit of the Lord came upon Jesus and he brewed on him. Why did he rest upon him? Because because he knows he's going okay. to the desert to meet the devil. If I don't cover him, he's not going to save the world. If I don't cover him, he's not going to win. Everything we win through covering. 
In the ark of Noah, we read about it. There, that's where we see Jesus. It is a mark of covering. The Bible says they, they, do not, they do not have any child. Those who are in Christ Jesus. When we are in Christ, we are secure. When we are in Christ, we are covered. The Bible says, Jesus says, come to me. He's saying that may you that people may come and enter into the ship. That is a mark of being covered. Those who are not covered, when the rains come, when the floods come, it will destroy all of them. The reason they are not, they are not covered. But to Now, when we read in the in the judges, uh-huh. chapter fourteen. Judges 14. Verse 13. Samson, Bible the Bible tells us about Samson. He met the Philistines. Immediately. The Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson. Remember, Jesus is going in the desert. He has now received the baptism. He needs what to cover him so that he may be overcome. Now, the conditions are going through. To overcome that condition, you need to be covered. Samson, Samson, he has met the Philistines. Immediately, the spirit of the Lord came upon him. He killed all of them. You first meet, then you're covered. Even in, in, verse, in chapter 15, he met a lion, a young lion. Immediately, the spirit of the Lord came upon Samson. He killed it. If you're not covered, the lion will, will finish you. If you're not covered, the Philistines will kill you. Shadrach, Mishach, and Abednego. Shadrach, Mishach, and Abednego. If you're not covered, <laughs> the fire will burn. When they throw in the lions, they will eat you because you're not covered. But if you're covered, the lions will not see you. They see the lion of Judah. Because they say, this is a lion like us. He has told the children of Israel, move, move, I have covered it. The cloud covered them. When they reached the, the waters, the waters parted. Why is the water parted? Because it's not seeing He's seeing who is going to the water. Because they are in Jesus. When we are in Jesus, whatever attacks us does not see us. He sees Jesus. And it gives way. Tell your friend, be in Jesus. Whatever is about you. When you are in Jesus, it will part from you. That's why he says, come to me. Enter me. Praise God. Children of God. When the Holy Spirit is the one covering us, Jesus knows that if you're not covered, you'll be overcome. When he was living and departing, I'm going. I am leaving you the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to leave you as often. I'm leaving you with the Holy Spirit. When he comes, he will tell you. Now the Holy Spirit is the one who covers us now. Now let me give you something to say. One. Do not worry what they are saying about you, what, you, what, what you're going through. What what you. I want you to look at yourself in the beginning that there was darkness. What, what takes away darkness from your job? The Holy Spirit. He covers the customers. The customers if it's not there, darkness will take over that place. Talk to the, to the artist here who is Mugambe, here. Mugambe, we we ta, you who is not a singer, single. Hey, the one who is single here. Mugambe, we ta, you need to be covered. 
If there is any darkness on your forehead and they don't see you, ask the Holy Ghost to cover you. Light will come upon your life. They'll begin to see you. Talk about covering. Brethren, we cannot overcome. We cannot serve without being covered. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, uh, sorry. Okay. Let us go to John 14, verse 26. Mm. Let us put the scripture quickly. John 14, 26. But the counselor, the Holy Spirit, mm. whom the Father will send in my name, mm. will teach you all things. And will remind you of everything I have said to you. Amen. May you clap to Jesus mightily. Now, this one who is your counselor when he comes. Yes. Jesus himself. When he, when, after sending the Holy Spirit to us. He said, do not pray in my name. Ask your friend, what have you been pray We've been praying in what name? He has already left you with the Holy Spirit. Now I've sent you the Holy Spirit. Whatever he will tell you. He's going to remind you what I told you. Do not go back. Praying in my name. Let us read that part also. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let us go again to that John 14. Let us go. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us clap for Jesus. Okay, to some Kuminamukaga or Luni Rio Rio Vimenia. We are in John sixteen, verse twenty four. Bible Salero. The Bible says until today, Temusavachi Gambo Mulinyang. You have not asked for anything in my name, Musabe Muliweva. Ask and you will receive. Bible Gambalunga Mizumoyo. That those who are led by the Spirit, those are the children of the Holy Spirit. There is nothing you are going to do without the Holy Spirit. There, there, are, there are those I tend to minister to. In this Uganda, nation, in this nation it's like as if we have two presidents. That there is a president. Now you cannot be a president when you're not a president. Yes. President <laughs> a president does not come about by words. Now when we pray in the name of Jesus, Jesus has told us, whatever the Holy Spirit will tell you, that is what I'm going to tell the Holy Now when Jesus wants to understand, direct. you don't look direct to him. He put the one he listens to, the Holy Spirit is the one who takes these words yes. to Jesus and to, to the Father. The Bible says in Romans 8, 26, the Holy Spirit helps our infirmities. It means he's the one who goes yes. to the presence of Jesus. Now, every time you go to Jesus, he says you have come. But I don't trust you Can the information. Let me wait for the information from the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Now, for them, they do not mess up words. They work as one. They work as three. I know information. Now there is one who they've left here in this world to collect information. After he has gathered, he takes these he words. He's the one who says, forgive or do not. Because the Bible says, the one who will, uh, who will offend the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. Ask your friend, what are you covered with? What are you covered with? Ask and if you're covered, 
Who's covering? What is covering? Is it the Holy Spirit? Or something else? If there is anything else and you don't even understand it, may you ask for the Holy Spirit to cover you. I'm praying for the grace of God. The next years that may God continue to cover us. The same way as covered us. May he continue to cover us. Because we have seen, when we are in the presence, we do mighty works. We do glorious We shake nations. As long as we are in the covering of the Lord, even demons will hear and they depart. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let us conclude with Isaiah. Isaiah 22, verse 8. Let us read in that scripture, Isaiah 22, verse 8. The defenses of Judah are stripped away. And you looked in that day to the weapons in the palace of the forest. Before we call the Holy Spirit, there are things that cover us. But the moment it comes, whatever has been covering us is taken away. Fuga. Then is the one who reigns. The moment he reigns, you have authority. We have been hearing the testimonies. Many people are giving their testimonies. They, they, they were saying, when I came here, me was crying, I received peace. Because I, he entered into the umbrella where the presence of the Lord is. He entered into the umbrella where the, somebody has put a good environment. Now, the moment you come out of this umbrella, you will be hit again. Now, the Acts of the Apostles 19, verses 13, the Bible talks about the sons of Sceva. Because they did not have anyone, they went and commanded Demons. And they were busy coping. Now they found one who had demons. And they said, We command you out in the name of Paul Jesus. The one Paul talks about. And then the demons responded. Paul, we know. Jesus, we know. Who are you? They don't, they have, have, anyone. They don't have an umbrella over them. Them. They cannot command demons. Now those demons ne now started to rip them. They root them apart because they were not covered. That is what is in Uganda. Many are starting ministries because he has come from a minister. He is not covered. Then he starts to deceive people. He's not covered. He's the one who gets angry anyhow. <laughs> the one who is not covered will get angry quickly. He has a, another thought. Amen. Tell your neighbor you need to be covered. There is one who has given a testimony a lady that I was, he said, She said there is someone And I had a pastor where I was. But he had the time for changes. And God is saying that I'm, I'm getting something. This. this is a path for you. May you continue. There is where you're going to be made whole. He, she had Even you, you need this wisdom. Some of you here, you don't even go back to your pastor to tell the pastor and you just leave. But you don't know that you, there is an investment of his on you. Yo. This one went Na back mubulira. and told the pastor. Even the pastor was also good. Because the other, another pastor would say, no, stay here. But this one prayed for her. Even the, the lady was wise. She did not go just empty to the lady. If there is anything that makes them hardened, let me now put this thing, this seat. Tell your neighbor you need wisdom. Even the Musumba, there is no way he would refuse. Rather, there the, you, you give a blessing. Say, declaring, confessing, you also need it to your pastor. Let me finish with this. Jacob, 
took the blessing of Esau because of that confession. That's what you need from your father. That's what you need from your parents. Uh, Jacob came back when he has also prepared his venison. Esau has come back. He has been uh, hunting. He's hungry. But because Jacob knows confession, there is no I can take the blessing without being something pronounced on me. Uh, Esau, you're hungry. I need your blessing. Uh, and it is me who's going to make you confess. Be, what I'm going to say, you repeat. In the Esau. Me, Esau. Mpayo I am giving my portion. Because of food alone. And speak well the way it is. In the Jacob. Me, Jacob. In the Esau. Me, Esau. Mpayo I am giving my inheritance. Because of this, this food. And say it on me. Put the, uh -huh. in the Jacob. Gamba in the Esau. Me, Esau. Mpayo I am giving my Mugabo. Goyo goyo. <laughs> because of food alone. Goyo goyo. Because of Kaunga alone. Ah. Ah. Negugenda. Wetu Gwagenda. Kakati Yakobo Gundi Yisa Kakadi. Aha. Now when Isaac was old. Bwamalo Kukadiwa. After he was old. Aito Mwanawe. He called his son. Esau. Esau. We mwana wango mukulu. You're the firstborn. Jigendo njigire. Go and hunt for me. Onde terendie. Bring and I eat. Kusaviro mukisa. And then I give you the Rebecca blessing. Rebecca naulira. The Rebecca had this. Nagamba Yakobo. He said Jacob. Wangamba. You told me. Esau yakuo mugabo. Esau gave you Ngo his portion. You gave him that Now me I ring your father. He's calling him Amusabire. to pray for him. Nagamba mwana wa. He said my child. Gendo ye. Go and be well. Before he comes back. Ofumbe. May you cook um, something and take to your yeah, father. Ya then the Jacob oh, said, I'm going to give you me. Esau has the way on his own. He says, let us now find a way. Remember, Isaac was old now. Yakobo na akola buwati. That's what Yakob did. And took the meat to the father. Then he says, hey, Esau, you've come too fast. Let, Let me come. I want to touch you. He, he touched oh, the meat. He feels that the, indeed the hair is there. Amen. I also feel the bodies of Esau. But the voices of Jacob. Uh, the thing is, I've been making a lot of noise while I'm chasing the wild game. Now the voice has come out of Jacob. Jacob, he has gone to hunt for the blessing. In the name of Esau, the, the point here is, Dad, you are not there. When Esau was giving me his portion, even now I've come to collect, I've not come to collect it in the name of Jacob. I've come to pick it in the name of Esau. Now may you give me a blessing. And you ask your friend, uh, your neighbor, we you have, have, have somebody who died for us. When you're asking for the blessing, you are asking in whose name? Amen. Amen. I feel tired now. May God bless you. Amen. I'm not going to add anything. Pedeo. It's done. Come mm. on. Let us thank God. Lift your hands and say, Lord Jesus. May you thank the Lord now. May you ask him to cover you. Lord, may you cover me. Holy Spirit, may you cover me. In my work, may you cover me. In this nation, may you cover me. In my ministry, may you cover me. In my marriage, may you cover me. My children, may you cover me. That I may not be naked. Because whatever is not covered, it is not clean. May you cover me. I need your grace. May you cover me in the name of the Lord. May you pray for yourself. Ask the Holy Ghost to cover you. Speak, speak. Speak, speak.
and I asked them uh, what did I do how did I perform Amen we have the servant of God. I want them to wave at you. Amen. They are there. So, we are mighty ministers. And we thank God because we are here, all of us. May God bless you. I thank you, Bishop. Because of this opportunity, we are all of us. May God bless you. Amen. Amen.